Welcome back. Now joining me are all three of our NHL experts, Jared Kimball, Cam Soselski, and Tim Krause, as we preview the playoffs, which start tomorrow. So let's get into it, guys. The Pens, they've struggled the past couple years in the playoffs, and uh, it's been <coughs> because of their poor goaltending and lack of offensive depth. Have they done enough this season to prove to people that they're a different team? You know, I, I, don't, I don't see a significant uh, improvement here. And yeah. uh, the main flaw of this team is still Marc-Andre Fleury. Um, the Pens are right where they were last year, and they're not a better team. Flurry, I still don't trust them right in the playoffs. Right where they were. They might even been, be worse than they were last year. They've had injury problems all year. Their offensive numbers are down this season. And like last year, they don't have Vokun to save them in the playoffs anymore. If Flurry struggles, they're Well, most people are worried about their offensive depth, which everybody's been talking about, yeah. because they only scored two goals against Boston mm -hmm. in that series in the yeah. Eastern Conference Finals. But I think their defense was the major problem last year in the Finals because – they would come down, score a quick goal, the defense would let it up, and they would lose all that me momentum. That's why they weren't Game scoring. Game three yeah. of that series, yeah. the Bruins scored six goals. Three of them were in a 10-minute span. Yeah, Niskanen yeah. has improved. He leads yes. the league in plus-minus for the season. Orpe's got more physical top ten in hits and block shots, which has really helped them. And then they added Scuderi, which has a lot of experience I still just the see playoffs. them struggling against uh, a I team mean, with a good goal. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with all of you. Um, the Pens, to me, just didn't do enough this season to prove to me that they're any different than they have been the past couple seasons. Let's move over to the West and a team with much less experience, the Dallas Stars. They have seven players under the age of 25. Is that lack of veteran presence and experience going to hurt them in the playoffs, or can the youth movement, youth movement survive? Well, it looks like they, they're really young because, you know, they're obviously the youngest in the NHL, but they actually do have seven guys that have Stanley Cups, which I think is going to really help out a lot. Mm -hmm. um, forward, they have Ray Whitney, was huge in that Phoenix Coyotes run that they made to the Eastern, Con I mean, to the Conference Finals. And then they have Sergei Gonchar in, in defense, um, which uh, was played for the Pens in their 08 and 09 Finals. And then Tim Thomas and Ned, obviously, you know, <laughs> yeah. great playoff goaltender. I think he's going to really help out Kerry Lettinen. So I don't think they really have a problem. And when I'm looking at this series, I'm looking at coaches. Bruce Boudreau hasn't really shown that he's a great coach. Lindy Ruff has been there. And Jared, he's been as, you're, the as you're saying, like what people are talking about, how they're so youth, I think inexper uh, inexperience in the playoffs is the most overrated thing in all of professional sports. I'd mm -hmm. rather take a talented player with no playoff experience over one who's an average player with 100 yeah. games. And, and, and with that, age is not the only determining factor when you're talking about experience. Of course not. Jamie Benn, captain of this team, is an excellent player. He's been yeah. in the league for almost five years yeah. now, but he's only 24 years old. Exactly. Him, him it doesn't matter. Yeah, him and Sagan. Yeah, Sagan's been in two Stanley Cup scoring. finals, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't have a problem with this team at all. I actually I actually have them beating it. Ooh, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> all, I, I, those are all really good points, <laughs> though. I, I love that. Lindy Ruff as a coach, and they have played very well this year, so they could surprise some people. Yeah. The Flyers, they had a bounce back here after not, missing the, after not making the playoffs last year, excuse me, but they finished the season with a goal differential of only plus one. Does their making the playoffs hide all the inconsistencies they have on their team? Absolutely, guys. Yeah. This team just that isn't question? that good. No, they made not. the playoffs, but their defense is terrible. Their goaltending isn't that great. They've had very streaky scoring. They've been inconsistent all year. I can't see this team yeah. just making Just let me hit on this goaltending. Okay. Steve Mason, <laughs> yes. which all Philadelphia fans think is going to be their savior, whatever, he, he, yeah. he played for Columbus in 08-09 when mm -hmm. they made the playoffs. He played 61 games, had 33 wins, had a 9.17 save percentage, and a 2.30 goals against average. This year, 61 games, 33 wins, hmm. .917 save percentage, and a worse goals against average. And what did he do? He got swept, let 17 goals in in four games. I just don't see him getting it done for that. Well, and, and with that, you know, I think this playoff berth has really covered up the beginning of the year because, you know, you remember back to October, this Flyers team was terrible at the beginning of the year. They fired their coach after three years. They fired their coach. Three games, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. He was yeah. gone. Drew yeah. wasn't scoring. This team was in shambles. You know, they made up for it. They've come on strong. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, this is not a serious contender. They only have three players that have scored more than 20 goals this year. Yeah, and their defense yeah. is really, really soft. It's, it's not enough. Yeah, it's not yeah not well, not the Flyers have been super inconsistent all year. A team that hasn't been that inconsistent is the Anaheim Ducks. They finished with the second best record in the NHL, but they're really not the most physical team. And we know how important physicality is in the postseason. Is that going to hurt them, or is their offensive strength uh, able to overcome it? You know, when you look at the Ducks, yeah, they're not a crash and bash team. But at the end of the day, these are professional athletes. These are yeah. tough guys. They have exactly. seven guys over 220 pounds. You know, this is not a small hockey team. They play a more offensive game for sure, especially compared to, like, the Bruins or the St. Louis Blues. But if they can, you know, stick with that and – hit when they have to, take hits, and score goals, they'll be fine. They need to get their body into it. Uh, didn't have any block. They only had 10 block shots last year in the playoffs. 
Um, they only had 11 takeaways in the playoffs last year, and they only added Hampus Lindholm, who is not really the most def defensive player um, on the blue line. He's more of an offensive D-line player. And then they also added Robidas, who is really, really physical, but he's really but hurt so right now. I don't think he's going to be a that difference it doesn't maker. matter. They led the NHL in goals per game. They were the number one seed in the Western Conference, so they beat the teams that were supposed to be physical in the regular season. Yeah. If they can play their game, they're as good as anyone in the league. But think about it. If, if they're not going to be physical, and then they hit the Sharks and the Kings in the next round, which are two of the most physical teams in the league, I don't think they're going to yeah, get it Yeah, but the Kings can hit them all they want. If they're skating by them with their speed and scoring goals, they're willing well, to again, take a hit. Again, this is, this is not a small hockey team. No. You know, Ryan Getzlaff is a big guy. He's a powerful scorer. Yes. So yes. is Corey Perry. Yeah. If they can keep putting pucks in the net, they'll be fine. Well, it'll be interesting to see. The Ducks are very good, but we, as we know, as the playoffs go further and further, that physicality is much more important. So we'll see if they can handle it. I think they can. I think they'll be fine. But it'll be really exciting to see. We have to take one last break, but coming up, we pay tribute to all those who were affected by the marathon bombings one year ago.